let's say I wanted to search for files to use in Orthanc, I would click data, and then I can just use data browser to explore. So TCIA is where these DICOM files are stored. So I can start with file and just kind of immediately say I want only open access files. Um, you can narrow it down. I find body part is an easy way to narrow it down. So you click on that um, and then add whatever filters you would like. As you can see, the data format is DICOM here again. And whatever you need to do, you can um, filter it until you get the number of images that you'd like to work with. So once you're ready, you copy these to your project. I've already done this um, prior to uh, talking to you today. So I'm going to go to my Orthanc editor here, and you'll see that there are already preloaded images. So you can additionally um, upload your own private files, but it is easy to connect to the CGC and whatever's in your project you can easily access here. So once I click on these files, um, here they load, and I can, uh, for instance, click on this, and you see that it's a stack of 70 different images. So I can either quickly scroll through it to see the stack, or I can explore some of the tools that we have available. So one of the tools is scroll stack, which I just showed you. You can click and drag and easily find the spot of uh, whatever it is you're interested in. Um, we have zoom options, which just like it says, just zoom in and out. Uh, levels, so you can adjust it for easier viewing if you're looking for a particular spot that's just kind of hard to find, or you know you need to change the level to be able to see it. Um, panning is just, like I said, just moving it around on the screen. Uh, these two features I particularly like. So one is length and one is annotate. So let's say I'm trying to identify something and I want to make a measurement right here. I can easily just click and now I have a measurement uh, on the image directly. An additional tool is annotate. So again, I have measured this, but if I want to point out something else, I can just um, click and drag the arrow, a dialog box pops up, and I can say, look at this. And now it's labeled in such a way. Um, these labels don't go away, so I can keep scrolling and then find it easily within the stack. Um, there are additional options, so I can play the stack like a movie and control the speed as fast or as slow as I'd like, so I can really analyze the image properly. Um, we have many more options here. So magnification, adding other shapes like ellipses or rectangles. I can invert the colors, flip the image, and really just interact with it properly, including downloading the image. Um, to summarize, I mean, this is Orthanc. It's really great in that researchers, clinicians, whoever can interact with the images. And I think this is a really useful tool for collaboration. As I had mentioned, I can easily uh, label or annotate whatever I want. I can add others to my project. They can open them up um, my same analysis, right, and see that I have annotated it specifically. So I think that's a, a very useful tool for sharing data back and forth. 